What's up, Sagittarius? Welcome back to the channel and welcome to your November 2020 tarot and astrology reading by Mawa. If you're new here, I am not all love, light, twin flames, and unicorns on this channel, so please keep that in mind. So let's see what's going on with you guys for November, Sag. Um, I know November it can be a time for you guys where it's kind of a dark time for you guys, to be honest, because Scorpio is the sign right before yours. So it's kind of like your shadow, like in your shadow. It's kind of in your blind spot, so to say. So you may be feeling a little bit more tired, a little bit more like uh, weighed down. Um, there could be a lot going on, like uh, a lot of people coming back from the past, a lot of cycles, patterns, all of these kinds of things coming back from the past possibly a masculine energy for some of you guys coming back from the past. Um, and here's the thing. I feel like you guys aren't really having it, if that's the case, <laughs> because right next to that, we have Queen of the Moon Sovereignty. And so, I mean, some of you guys could be, but I think it's just really important that you guys keep your cool, you know, like you keep in mind your sovereignty. We also have Surrender here. Okay, so there is a level of like a lot of you guys wanting to be active, I feel here. Um, well, a lot of you guys, not like all of you guys, but some of you guys are trying to be active. Some of you guys are trying to get stuff done. Some of you guys are really trying to take a lot of action in here. We have wisdom. And what I see here is it's like, no, you need to surrender to your inner wisdom in a certain situation. Um, it doesn't have to be like with a masculine energy. Yeah, we have trust here, although I kind of feel like it is. <laughs> or for some of you, you could be the masculine energy and maybe you're just trying to get shit done and you're like, what the hell is going on with my flow, man? This is a time where it's like that surrender and wisdom card. We even have faith at the bottom of the deck and trust. This is a time where you're getting like thrown into the deep end and you're half like you either sink or swim. And so the best way to deal with this is to allow yourself to let go allow yourself to surrender to whatever the hell is going on i know it's fucking hard man i know it's hard i know it's hard i'm not trying to sit here and downplay it like it's like the easiest thing in the world to do um but this is important by surrendering and trusting you gain some kind of wisdom sag so that's that's important Okay, so I do feel like I'm not going to take these because it's a little too many, but I do feel like there is somebody that has came back around, um, maybe for some kind of reunion, um, something like that, uh, or something, someone from the past, okay, or a situation even from the past. Heartache, loss, foundations, and achievements. So yeah, there is a little bit of... There is a little bit of sadness or a feeling of being down here when it comes to your achievements, when it comes to like a milestone or feeling like, you, like you're going backwards in some way. But with the destiny card, which is the wheel of fortune, this is saying that this is part of the plan in some way. Um, third eye chakra, which I know doesn't always help to say if you can't see it, but this really is... Um, this is happening for some kind of reason. You may have gotten thrown off track because there's something here that the universe is trying to show you. There's been an illusion that you've been under, a way of looking at something, a way of perception that hasn't been necessarily true. We also have shadow and hope, yeah. So this is definitely a time of the shadow for, for Sagittarius. Like this is definitely a time of going into the unknown. Um, with the card hope there, you're gonna be fine. Like this is this is a card of like renewal, renewed hope. By the end of this month, you're gonna be fine and you're gonna have a solid foundation to build upon. You're no gonna be you're no longer gonna be feeling um, disconnected and like bored with your life. You're gonna start feeling like, okay, I know I have like a solid plan now. I have like a solid something solid set here. Wow, you have two cards about triumph. New beginnings, yeah. This is like a renewal month for you guys, Sag. It's like purging the old shit, purging the past, so you can um, do something new. So you can completely 
figure out what it is that you want to do. A lot of you guys have been feeling a little bit down, like, I don't know what my purpose is. I don't know what my meaning is. Like, what am I supposed to be doing here? What's my destiny? What's my fate? Like, what's going on? There's something here where the cards are really asking you, like, it's okay to surrender. It's okay to have faith. It's okay to trust, you know? Door to spirit, walking away. Yeah. So this is something that... <laughs> Wow, isn't that something, right? So you find spirit, you find a sense of meaning, purpose, spirituality, inner peace by walking away from something. And that's right under heartache and loss. So this may mean for some of you leaving some kind of achievement or milestone behind because you maybe... Like, yeah, you've built the, you've built the bones of it. You've spent a lot of time on it. You've, you've gotten pretty far with it, but I'm sorry. And this could have been unexpected too. Like maybe you weren't, maybe you didn't expect this to happen. And so it kind of hurts that much more. Yeah. We have attachment and broken heart. So this is something that you've gotten attached to. Um, this could be a relationship, it could be a home, it could be uh, just a situation, a job, anxiety, a way of living, a, pers a perspective, angel of love. Okay, so definitely I feel like for a lot of you guys this is probably about romance. Um, we have door to romance on the bottom. A lot of romance, which I mean we did just go through Libra season, but Sorry, I didn't mean to hit that. I normally don't do that while I'm filming, but I guess I needed to. Um, so anyway, if it's not about romance, if you're single, then this could just be about a past situation. You know, it, it could be about a current situation, but maybe not a romance. Maybe it's just a friend, you know. Um, maybe it's a family member. Maybe it's, <clears throat> it's something that you've tried to achieve, and then it's like, unexpectedly unexpectedly you have to walk away from it um but this is leading you to the door to spirit this is the door to spirit walking away is the door to spirit what from whatever this is because it's getting you out of your comfort zone sagittarius it's helping you get out of your comfort zone it's helping you take off the mask and it's helping you become unchained and it's going to help you heal your heart in the long run. I see you guys have a lot of anxiety about this situation. Yeah, you have a lot of anxiety because of conflict. You're trying to avoid some kind of conflict. You also have the Six of Swords here moving through some difficult waters. You're trying to take the past with you and it's like, no. <laughs> But this is your door to independence. This is your door to feeling to self-worth in some way. You know? So yeah, this, I mean, Scorpio season for you guys is about leaving the past behind. Um, it's about embracing your own independence. Um, yeah, we have the strength card and the three of swords. This is about healing your heart. And a lot of you guys have tried to close your heart off because you're like, nah, <laughs> not doing that again. Like, I'm just going to close that mother effer off. Uh, for some of you guys, though, this is about, this is about work. God, the seven of swords and three of swords is coming out, man. Like crazy some shady shit going on, man. A lot of these readings. <laughs> the five of, okay. So yeah, it, it feels like either someone didn't do what they said they were going to do or someone betrayed you or they left you or abandoned you in something or you're ha you feel like you're having to do that to someone else. We have the Ace of Wands and the Chariot and the Page of Rods and the Wheel of Fortune again at the bottom of the deck. So this is about moving forward, man. This is about finding yourself right now and going with the flow of the universe, literally. Um, and this could just be a situation from your past that you guys are finally leaving behind. It may not be a current situation, like I was saying, 
but this is definitely getting motivated. Like motivation is going to come back and you're going to feel motivated to start like to be inspired again. You're going to start being inspired again. You're going to start being inspired to go do things, to be more adventurous, to go go on some kind of soul search. You know what I mean is really what I'm seeing here, Sag. Um, so for your month of November, uh, Mercury is going to be in a spot for you that is all about your social life, your friends um, in the beginning of the month. Um, so there could be a lot of old acquaintances, a lot of old people you used to talk to, um, old relationships, old friendships like coming back into your life. Um, but then Mercury is going to come back into Scorpio um, around mid-month, okay? And so that's definitely going to be a time where you things are going to start adding up to what you've been going through for the last couple of months. Um, you know, maybe it's been really hard for you to focus or maybe you've been really reflecting on your past and really reflecting on your insecurities and um, deep-seated stuff from the past, uh, deep-seated uh, power struggles in the past, just like really deep shit, shit that you've been avoiding or trying to escape for a while. And so with Mercury going back into Scorpio, you're going to be able to start getting to the root of these issues and healing them. This is a very healing time. Yeah, it brings up some, some loss. It makes you face some deep emotions that maybe you've been putting off for a while. But in the end, it's like so fucking worth it, Sag. Like it is so worth it. Um, so on the 12th, we have Jupiter conjunct Pluto for the last and final time in Capricorn. So this is gonna be a major shift in your priorities and what you want for yourself and what you value all of these different kinds of things. Also income, money, possessions could be a theme there. Mars goes direct on the 13th and Mars is in Aries, which I believe is your fifth house. Yeah, it's your fifth house. So um, once Mars goes direct, uh, there's gonna be a lot of forward movement when it comes to your passions, what you love, uh, self-expression, you know, where you feel where you feel confident, whoops, <laughs> where you feel confident from creating and expressing. Um, also, this is the house of children and pleasure, where you find pleasure. Um, so if you've been in some weird competition or been having trouble um, doing the things that you love for a couple months now, that's gonna start moving forward, okay? You're gonna start finding your passion again. Mid-month is good. Mid-month, things start moving forward. It's good. And then we move into eclipse season once, once we get into Sag season, your season. Um, so on November 30th, we have the full moon lunar eclipse in Gemini, your opposite sign. This is a big one. <laughs> this is when everything changes in the relationship department for you, Sag. This is when things start getting really cray-cray. Um, you start having like major insights, uh, major things come up to do with relationships um just it's like a whole new it's like a reset button for relationships okay so that's going to be um a really crucial time to, for you but we're going to talk more about that in a separate video that i do for the eclipses so anyways uh hopefully this was helpful for you sag let me know down below if it resonated as always and if you want anything else from me like uh if you want to follow me on social media is there anything just See the description below and I will see you guys in my other videos. Bye.